Rob Rogowski is a local artist whose whimsical art enraptures those who visit his studio in the Hungerford building. His miniature movie sets, his puppets, and his sculptures transport you to a fantasy world that seems so real. We met up with Rob in his studio to take a look at some of his work. Check it out. My name is Robert Rogelski. I'm a local artist here in Rochester, New York. The work I do is whimsical and fanciful. I have a love of puppetry and uh, all things geeky. People are always asking me, well, what medium do you work in? and I work in multiple mediums. I'm a sculptor, I do illustration. My background was, of course, I wanted to get into visual effects when I was younger. I was desperate to work for a creature shop for Hollywood. So that involved learning all these different disciplines such as uh, illustration, design, sculpting, model making, all these kind of things. So it's kind of one of those those uh, processes where you become someone who wears many hats. I have two areas that I focus in on the most right now, which is doing illustration work, and that's usually my bread and butter. Kind of a lot of fun doing uh, poster work and, and uh, things along those lines, but then the other one is, of course, sculptural stuff. My teacher asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. I said, oh, I want to be a book illustrator. And then my interest shifted away from doing two-dimensional work and working in three-dimensional work. Sometimes I don't have a clue what I'm gonna do. Other times I have a vague idea. Um, and then there are the moments where yes, you know exactly what you wanna do, what you wanna create, but you often find out that, especially if you're working with found objects like I do, that the objects will dictate what you're going to make. It's a very organic process. Uh, you pick something up and then you look at it in different angles and you could suddenly see, well, wait a second, this should be part of a headset for a character or this should be a piston or maybe this will be a part of a laser rifle, I don't know. There have been times too when I've started working on a project and midway through I'm like, oh, this is gonna be horrible, this isn't working. And then suddenly I'm done with it and I look at it and I'm like, wow, oh, I love this. This is, this turned out better than I thought it would. I started out with wanting to get into animation and then it turned into a, wait a second, I can actually build these things that will be real creatures right there. I love practical effects. I, I still love puppets and sculptures and miniature landscapes and models and all that kind of stuff. And that's why I kind of became obsessed with making it. You know, I could probably focus in on figure sculpture and other kinds of things, but um, this is a lot more fun. Yeah, those puppets and sculptures really do look pretty real. It is amazing. And if you'd like to see more of his work, go to his website at robertrogowski.com.